स्वागत है आप सबका फिर से आप देख रहे हैं कम्युनिटी रानप और मैं हूं विकास नांगिया 19 फरवरी से लेकर 21 फरवरी के दौरान सेक्सस में सेकेंड एनुअल डी एफ डब्ल्यू साउथ एशियन फिल्म फेस्टिवल का आयोजन हुआ उम्दा निर्भय कुछ हटके नई कहानियों पर आधारित फिल्मों को मंच प्रदान करते इस फेस्टिवल में सिनेमा प्रेमियों ने पिछले साल के मुकाबले इस साल कहीं ज्यादा रूचि ली फिल्म फेस्टिवल सोल्ड आउट रहा टीवी एशिया से सीमा गोविल ने ओपनिंग नाइट रिसेप्शन के दौरान निर्माता निर्देशक लेखक अभिनेताओं और आयोजकों से दो ब दो बातचीत की After the astounding success of the first film festival last year, Dallas is back with a bang. Viewers are looking forward to an impeccable line of movies. Filmmakers have been flown in from across the nation and India for Q and A's and rich interactions. Let's go and catch up with the stars. Hi, Tia. Welcome to Dallas. Welcome back to Dallas. So, how is how has it been? Homecoming to Dallas. You grew up in Dallas. This is your city. Now you're coming back as star. <laughs> Well, thank you. Um it feels great. I we've taken this film to a ton of different film festivals around the country in the last year and this feels the most special for me because I am born and raised here and uh, my family is here. Um and they've not seen the film before, so it's very exciting. I have friends here and friends from college, friends from high school, so it's great. Yeah. So there are, so it's interesting that uh, you know so many movies have been on uh inspiration winning you know losing is not a good thing for the first time i experienced oh my god winning can be a problem too <laughs> and you can get stuck up with winning so I, i thought that was like really deep psychology that you touched for a lot of people that we would be able to relate to it so how was it how was it during the filming Yeah, well, uh, you know, during filming, that's something that we definitely wanted to explore in a way that honored the the artistry not only of the script but also of the performances. But in terms of theme, just what resonated for us as producers with the story was. Winning isn't always about the surface level. Winning's really about what's happening on the inside and sometimes your 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 biggest obstacle is yourself. And we thought this was a really funny, really poignant story that demonstrated that and fortunately also had an entirely South Asian cast. And so it checked all the boxes for us. Well, Ravi and I we were very interested as we wrote this together to explore the theme of winning and we wanted Lily to be somebody who was very driven. but in the end that she's not diminished she's learned a little bit more about herself but she still has that drive you know and we didn't want to shy away from it but we were also interested you know our culture at large is very ambitious you know winning's really important and and how do we live you know when we do lose so so what's your take on the south asian cinema in the us right now i mean we are everywhere yeah i mean i think particularly in television we are everywhere in terms of film it's still developing i think in terms of telling those south asian american stories on film there is not as many i don't think we're as visible but it seems to be growing i think so it's I, it, if we can keep up with the television aspect it could be exciting you started the film festival last year there was no film festival in dallas nobody had heard about it so how did the idea of starting a film festival come to you well you know dallas is one of the top 5 major media markets in the country and it's the only one that actually does not have its own south asian film festival so when i worked on the new york indian film festival for many years and handled their pr and curated and worked with the films i thought you know what dallas is lacking this why not start a festival in dallas because there's so much appreciation for the arts here we're at the beautiful pearl museum we're in the museum district the kimball is one of the best art museums in the country and it's here in fort worth So you know there's definitely an appetite for this and I I have to tell you Seema this year our ticket sales reflected that 25% of people who bought tickets to our festival were non-South Asians which goes to show you that South Asian independent cinema doesn't just appeal to the Indians and to the Pakistanis it also appeals to the mainstream folks and they want to see this culture represented in their diaspora So you are the pioneer for the film festival South Asian Film Festival nobody knew this term South Asian Film Festival you started that 16 years ago I mean how could anyone even imagine that it would be a success you did that and you have been getting better growing humongously every year so what do you see like how do you see from then and now 
Well, I have to tell you, when we started, it was like pulling teeth to get enough Indian films. Because Bollywood is there. It's always there. But independent films, films that talk about the real issues, that talk about social issues, that talk about the reality of what happens in India and the rest of the subcontinent, those films were few and far between. And some of the filmmakers looked at us like, really? What? What are you talking about? They had no clue. And the ones that showed these kind of films, nobody was interested in showing them. So we started that. And now, because they can see the encouragement, because people are talking more and more about these issues, they're important. They're making films. People are showing them. And so we grew. We grew like Chitin from a weekend. And now we've got the whole week. We are wrapping up the opening night of the sold-out Dallas South Asian Film Festival here at the beautiful Perro Museum. We have been talking to some amazing artists bringing us some very thought-provoking films. Dallas is enthusiastic as the stage is set for two equally phenomenal days of films ahead. Keep watching TV Asia. This is Seema Goval.